All right, pretty soon, guys, these grills over here, they're gonna be gone. You wear a hat, they call dad. Me, I'm the dad in a hat. You just like covering in clothes. Me, I like afternoon naps. Three, I be miss for the road. My oldest like counting them racks. My middle one, she's in a dirt bike. My youngest is just like a mama. The mama loves me and I love her, so if she wants something, it's never a bother. Three little ladies, my babies, and one on the way, now I'm stressing my mama. And don't try to play around, don't try to play with them unless you're looking for problems. So don't try to play. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell. In today's video, we're gonna be swapping out the front grills on the 435 for some much more aggressive looking grills. So I know this is a very common mod to do on these cars and the reason why I haven't done it yet is because if you guys can tell, the grills on the car right now actually look really good. car guys uh, those grills that are currently on it so those are the black M Sport grills actually came with the car I did buy this car used so I didn't get to pick out what's on the car I kind of just got lucky and that the used one that I bought happens to have those grills so normally the grills that come with these cars are black in the middle over here they have the single slit which obviously this one has but then they tend to be like chrome around the sides over here so again obviously this one is black but chances are you might have a chrome one so yeah honestly I think these ones look really really good I have no complaints about them that's why I never really changed them or thought to change them when I was looking around for mods for this car though I actually found some grills that look a lot better so like I said before these are single slit so they do look good but there is a double slit more so like on the M cars and stuff like that so the grills that I got are double slit and then they also have something else to them that I actually really like so this right over here is a new set of grills so obviously it's two pieces because these grills do come in two separate pieces but anyways let me take them out and show you guys what they look like all right so here it is saying unlike the single slit on the current grill these ones are a double slit so it kind of gives it more of an aggressive look which I really really like looking at it in person and then the other thing if you guys can tell over here it has sort of like this carbon fiber look so the reason why I say carbon fiber look and not carbon fiber is because this is not actually carbon fiber guys if you guys do want the same one that I got I will leave it linked down in the description below it's about like 50 bucks or so just a normal like glossy black one is maybe like 40 bucks so if you guys want to do that I'll also leave those linked down in the description below it's basically just like plain all black double slit but the reason why I went with the carbon fiber look is because one I just like the look of carbon fiber but I don't like the price of it for actual carbon fiber these grills go for about like 150 or 200 bucks obviously these grills are gonna be on the front of the car so they're gonna be more susceptible to like rock chips and stuff like that guys so I don't know if it's really worth getting real carbon fiber for this car also although I have the x3 m40 now which is gonna be more like my family daily driver car my wife is driving that most of the time and I'm gonna be driving this most of the time so basically this car is gonna be driven a lot and it's gonna be susceptible to rock chips and stuff like that so I just don't know if it's worth paying 200 bucks maybe somewhere down in the future where YouTube becomes more like legitimate for me and I really want to take the car to the next level but for now I think 50 bucks is more appropriate versus like 200 bucks so that's pretty much the reason why I chose carbon fiber look versus real carbon fiber but uh, like I was saying before guys I love the look of carbon fiber I have it on my mirror cap over here with like the M style look as well so that looks really good and then I also have it down here on my diffuser which again looks really really good so I think this grill with those side mirror caps with the diffuser is gonna look really good together and then like I've been hinting at before guys this car is getting a front lip which obviously as you can guess is probably gonna be carbon fiber so all those things together again I think should really complete the look of this car all should flow really well it looks really good on the white especially in my opinion maybe I'm chipping out a little bit but uh, I'm not gonna lie I definitely am all right so with all that said we're gonna start installing these grills they're pretty easy to install guys when installing them you can take off the entire front bumper and basically have access to behind the grills so that you can take off the old grills and then basically snap on the new ones all that holds in these grills is just a couple tabs along the top over here so three over there and then three on the bottom so these will snap into place so basically to remove the old one you just have to like push this in so that it can slide out of the bumper again you can definitely take off the entire bumper and I'm sure it'll be easier but that's just too much work right now I'm gonna be showing you guys sort of like a quicker and easier way to do it so to start we're of course gonna open up the hood so we can uh, get some better access All right, so although we're not gonna remove this entire bumper, what we're basically gonna do is undo the top of the bumper so we can basically pull it outwards and we can get our hands behind it and start undoing the clips on the grills. So first to do that, what we're gonna do is actually remove the weather stripping that's over here. It's very easy, you should just pull right off, guys. So just like that, it comes right off. We're just gonna set this to the side. 
Then next, what we're gonna do is remove some Torx bit screws along the bumper over here. I believe there's like eight of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if you guys watch my channel, you'll recognize this is a very similar process to when I did the V-brace bar and I basically covered it in red. I undid the top of the bumper, pulled it back and basically put my hand inside and was able to put that plastic piece on. This is gonna be very, very similar, but obviously instead of putting that on, we're gonna be removing the old grill. And then to put on the new grill, it's gonna be as easy as just snapping it in place. So that's gonna be a lot easier. The only sort of like tedious part of this is removing the old one so to remove those screws guys we're gonna need two sizes so a t30 as well as a t25 i'll show you exactly which one is which but if you guys do need a set of torque screwdrivers i will leave this set linked down in the description below it's the same one that i use all the time and it hasn't failed me yet so if you guys need them check out that link all right so the six over here in the middle are basically t30s and then the ones along the edges so this one over here and then uh this one over here are the t25s so i'm gonna start removing those right now So now as you guys can see, uh, all those screws are removed. What we can do now is basically just slide the bumper back away from these metal clips over here. It's like that one over there, this one over here, and then uh, that one over there. They should come out pretty easily. And like I was saying before guys, this is gonna give us some leverage so we can pull the bumper back like that. Nothing too crazy though, because obviously the bumper is still attached from everywhere else. This is just basically supposed to give us enough room so we can get our hand in there and start taking off that old grill. So I just wanna say some people do go ahead and just rip off the grill uh, entirely, specifically the old grill. There's a very high chance that you're just gonna break all the clips on the back of your grill. So if you guys wanna do that, I mean, by all means, do it at your own discretion. I personally don't even wanna try it because these grills are really nice and I do think I can salvage them, maybe sell them to someone who wants some afterwards also I'm just not a fan of just like ripping something off your car I don't think it's a good idea in any case but hey it is what it is do whatever you're comfortable with so now if I pull back this bumper over here we can see behind the grill and as you guys can tell you can see those clips so that's one two and then three over there so like I was showing you on the new one we're basically gonna kind of push down the middle part over there and then hopefully be able to slide it out of the bumper old grill is out overall it was pretty easy obviously you might hurt your hands a little bit <laughs> try to get them in there remove those clips just make sure you don't forget about this one on the side like I almost did so it's uh, three on the bottom three on the top and then one on each side so I almost forgot about those ones just make sure you guys don't do the same here is a quick comparison of the grill side by side so obviously this is the old one this is the new one there's not too much of a difference here guys because obviously this one's already all black but if you guys are going from one that has chrome to maybe an all black or even this one here I think you're definitely gonna see a bigger transformation but regardless guys I think this is definitely gonna look better for me obviously I have one grill off I kept this one on for now because what I want to do is put one new one on this side so we can see what they look like on the car side by side I'll show you guys what that looks like and then after I do that I'll just replace this other one here all right so to install this new grill it should be as easy as literally just placing it in here sort of like a lining up all the clips and then literally just snapping it in all right so that was actually way easier than i expected it to be the clips actually went in like super easy it's definitely in there it's not coming out easily yeah now obviously we can see what the grills look like on the car each one side by side of course there's not too much of a difference because like i was saying the previous one is already all black this one is also all black it still of course has the carbon fiber look and the double slit but still not too much of a difference. Regardless though, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Which grill do you prefer? All right, so with that said, I'm gonna finish up the other side, show you guys the finished product. I'll just do that one on a complete time lapse. And then yeah, we're pretty much done. Here's the finished product. As you guys can tell, 
both grills are now officially on with the carbon fiber look the double slit look of course and yeah overall i know you guys probably can't tell too much from a distance on camera but this thing honestly looks a lot better in person it adds a lot more character and depth to the car especially on the front end where honestly guys like i kind of felt like the front end of this car was a little boring uh like i said before i am getting a front lip so that should help a lot but other than that there's really not too much going on it so yeah i'm actually really really happy with the way these grills turned out in terms of like fit and finish overall the fitment is okay it's not great i'm not gonna lie to you guys like over here i can definitely tell there's some good gap um on top not as much on the side over here it's actually pretty good so overall the fitment's okay and then the quality this fake carbon fiber doesn't look the best per se uh, i do probably want to get real carbon fiber grills we have to keep in mind these things are only like 50 bucks all gloss black ones are even cheaper pretty sure they ship from china so you kind of get what you pay for again if you guys want any of this stuff links down in the description below so for these grills the all glossy black ones as well as those Torx screwdrivers if you guys want them i also did put my original grills back in this box that the new ones came in just so i can protect them and stuff like that if any of you guys want to buy them just dm me on instagram i am willing to sell them these did come with the car so they are oem bmw yeah so if you want them let me know all right guys so with all that said that pretty much wraps up this video like i said before the build for this 435 is not stopping i still have more mods coming for it as well i also have some mods coming for the x3 m40 so if you guys want to see that definitely stay tuned but anyways if you guys like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up let me know what you guys think about the new grills down in the comments below overall i'm pretty happy with them uh they're again only about like 50 bucks so you get what you pay for but then lastly guys if you guys want to see more videos about the 435 about the x3 or whatever it is definitely hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell and yeah i'll catch you guys in the next one peace